Alright, my name is Brenna and this is Sherry and we're with the Little Shop of Physics here to talk to you about Activity 2 Chroma Depth today. That's right, Brenna. Uh, let's go ahead and get started by explaining what is Chroma Depth. Yeah, so in your activities you'll get these Chroma Depth glasses and these actually have a diffraction grating in them that bends light uh, at different angles. So when you put these on, you should notice red and blue pop the most. That's because red light gets bent the most uh, and it brings it forward so that you can see it kind of pop away from the blue. However, all the light gets bent, um, different colors get bent at different angles, which is kind of awesome. Yeah, that's right. And uh, you might remember that we call the bending of light refraction and the dispersal of light as it travels through the small slits, too small to see, but as it goes through the small slits in these glasses, we call that diffraction. Awesome, so what cool things can students do with these chroma depth glasses, yeah. Sherry? Oh, there's so many neat things to do. I would suggest um, just first letting the kids put on the glasses and explore the room, explore the things around them. Um, there's so many different things uh, that they might jump into after that. Um, they can use markers. Um, I like to use markers, uh, these chalk markers on black paper, really make an image that really pops. Uh, once you're looking through it with the chroma depth glasses. Mine doesn't really pop, but I did draw this very sad bird. Um, he, he's not frowning, but his, his face is kind of messed up. It's, yeah. it's fine. It's, he's yeah. cute. Yeah. Okay. He might be sad, yeah. but he's I cute. Use the, I use these pens. It, it works pretty good. Yeah, gel pens on black paper. You can also use uh, whiteboard markers and have kids create their own artwork on a whiteboard or um, on white paper. Um, and then just random objects around the room work good too. Um, we have a collection of different uh, shapes that we've found. Just colorful things work best. Um, bean bags of different colors, uh, colorful fabrics um, is really uh, awesome to look at. If you can find things with, like Brenna said, a lot of reds and a lot of blues. So like uh, you even got a soda can over there, Sherry. Yeah, yeah. So really. Just take a look around classroom posters. You can even search the internet for chroma depth art, um, artwork that's been specifically made um, to work well with these glasses. Awesome, so you should be able to do this with pretty much anything. You don't need a lot of supplies other than the chroma depth glasses. However, there are a few key points that we will give you as instructors from one instructor to another to help your kids be able to explore you know, all the cool things you can do with these glasses. So the first thing is that red and blue obviously pop the most. So you should give students a lot of red and blue things to look at. Uh, like Sherry said, you can project one on the board or you can have kids draw with markers. Um, you can also have students poke at different colors with the glasses on. That's kind of cool because one kind of comes forward over the other and it is kind of I don't know. It, it always baffles them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then the last thing is, this might not work for colorblind students. It depends on their colorblindness. If it does, great. If it doesn't, you might have to come up with some sort of alternate assignment for them or something else. So we just think those things are important to know. Yeah. But really the most um, important part of this all is we really just want to encourage uh, with our students uh, free play and exploration and creativity. Um, you might ask some questions of your students like, what do you think is happening? Or why do you think one color pops more than another? Uh, just to get them thinking. And if they discover something neat, then uh, we'd like to hear about it. Yeah, and to send cool things that your students have done our way, uh, you can go to our website, which should appear on screen right now. Scroll to the bottom to our email address, send us an email uh, with pictures or we would love to hear about it, anything that your students find out. And also our website is just a really awesome place for instructors. It has tons of materials, it has lots of other cool things that you can do. Uh, so definitely give that a look. Yeah, that's right. Okay, well that's all for this one. We'll see you in the next video.